Hey, my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. <clears throat> I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Capricorn. 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 Let's get into this energy. I feel abundance. I feel good news. I feel a lot of people in their power. Let's get into this energy. We're going to do the energy of January 2021 for our beautiful Capricorns. Messages 11 Life. Oh, Capricorn, first thing that came out is the King of Swords. Mm. So the King of Swords is letting me know, Capricorn, that going into January, you're looking at, I feel like it's the whole year of 2020. And you are realizing that they have been situations and things that you just will not take into your new year that you will not bring into 2021. And it's like, I feel that you're looking at this with eyes of wisdom. You're looking at this with, um, you're looking at it from a, from a place in, yeah. So you're looking at it from, from a place of knowledge and wisdom. And I feel like right now you have cut off things. It could be business partners, situations, family, friends that you're like, you know, I cannot, allow you guys to enter into my new year and and what the king of swords is saying that you are being very vocal about your next your next level you're being very vocal about what you're accepting and what you're not messages love and life from beautiful capricorns yeah you're manifesting things you are in the energy of creating creating a new beginning it's like you you've been working on things in the past and what the past has showed you is who you can work with and who you can who is going to be taking away from you and who is going to add to you if they're not adding to you they cannot come with you and in january uh and, and in january i feel like you're being more voiceful on what you expect from people and, and 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 basically being straight to the point on if you do not get exactly what you expect then you will not be moving forward with a particular individuals messages 11 my beautiful capricorn awesome we have the her the uh hierophant card. So this is this is dealing with if it's dealing in love matters, Capricorn. This is like you're looking for a long term thing. This is the uh hierophant card speaks of marriage. It speaks of um a commitment, long term commitment. I feel like a lot of situations in the past for for the Capricorns is dealing in love. It's like a lot of people who were kind of like breadcrumbing you, or or it's like they they were not bringing a significant amount of energy to to a relationship or situation. You're leaving that behind, and you're manifesting a love, something that is going to last for a long time. And I feel like at this time, if you're already starting to receive, or if you're already going Going into a relationship where you feel that it's going to be promising you are now seeing people from the past that are trying to come back in and 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 be in that place that you wanted them at first but now that place is already taken i feel like you're being very verbal when you're t uh, letting them know that that position is not for you also if this is dealing with uh business um things of, of, of business monetary uh, uh, endeavors. This is saying that right now you, you could be going into like a house or a contract or something dealing with long term. If you are uh, about to sign a contract for uh, either either be in a business uh, contract working with somebody, make sure that you look over the contracts and make sure that all of the 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 you, like you cross all the t's and you dot all of the i's because i feel like within this new beginning it may be something there that you may need to go step by step in so do not rush contracts especially if it's going to be something long term because you don't want to be stuck in something that's not going to be the best outcome for you messages 11 my 
Yeah, and then we have the Devil card. The Devil card is coming out right up under the King of Swords. So this is telling me that you're cutting off people who are toxic, people who were dependent on your finances, people who were dependent on just your energy. Because I feel like in the past, Capricorn, you had a lot of energy vampires where it was kind of hard for you to move forward. And that was because you had someone that was trying to take up your time. And it's like they were not feeding your cup. It's like you're pouring your energy, your emotions into one thing and you were not receiving that. People, You had people that were dependent on you. They were dependent on your financial uh, state. I feel like it was a lot of people. This could have been uh, families. This could have been um, ex-wives, ex-husbands or anything. And they were taking away from you financially because Capricorn, you are earth sign. So I mean, you are built in stability and you are and, and you are made to provide and protect. And I feel like you had a lot of people in your past that were taking advantage of that and they were being codependent on that situation. Also for a lot of you Capricorns, this is a uh, spirit saying that you are cutting off toxic ways about yourself that like if you had a habit of drinking a lot or doing a lot of drugs like you are being aware of why your why 2020 was like it was and you are actually cutting off those things not dealing with just people but dealing with yourself the habits that you need to do better in and you're manifesting something that is going to that is going to last but you are reflecting on the past on how can you go to this abundant uh future message is 11 right Okay, so first thing I see is the three, we have the three of swords, but it was in reverse. So right now it's like you're no longer, uh, it, 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 it's like I feel like in the past that either like this energy is vice versa. This could be for you or your person, but I'm going to read it for you, Capricorn. Capricorn, in the past, like you could have been involved in a third party situation that um, that, that could have dealt with with uh, family heartbreak or just friends. Or it could deal with uh, a particular love that, that, that was very toxic to you. With it in reverse, I feel like this could be for some of you. It could be uh, ex-spouses. Um, uh, that 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 was very toxic that was draining that was trying to take all of your resources yes yeah, spirit said you had somebody that was trying to take your resources and they have put you in this guilt mode and that and right now you've been manifesting a healing heart you've been healing you're no longer letting those things that used to affect you affect you now then we have the eight of swords the 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 eight of swords is speaking of feeling trapped in a relationship so for a lot of you guys this could have been uh uh a wife, a husband, somebody that you were married to that kept you trapped, made you feel like you had to stay in that situation or you had to be financially stuck to that situation because you could have had kids with them. Um, if the kids live with the person, with, with, with your with your spouse or ex-spouse or whatever, you felt that you had to give a certain amount of monetary or energy to that situation. And, and right now, Spirit is saying that you are manifesting yourself out of this energy of feeling stuck to somebody that is very toxic and is only about trying to control the situation around you. We have the Seven of Wands, Capricorn. The Seven of Wands mean you are protecting yourself you are very guarded not just that for a lot of you capricorns you are in a new relationship you're in a new relationship that you are that you are uh that you are thinking of marrying this person or you're thinking of having a, a really solid foundation with and it's like you're protecting this relationship that you're that you're in or that you're going in from these people uh, these situations in the past so and I, I keep coming back to this marriage so for you so for you Capricorns that have an ex-wife an ex-husband that was very toxic and 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 only wanted your financial support um and, and, and it's like they just wanted to take your resources. I feel like you're protecting this new relationship from these toxic individuals in that way. And therefore, you are you are blocking a lot of communication that's coming in. And so that it will not be a third party situation going into your new uh, situation ship. And you're and, and, and you're relieving yourself of feeling trapped by an individual person, somebody that you had a long term relationship with or marriage with messages of love and light and you're being very verbal uh because with the king of swords it's like it's like you're being very clear on how things are going to go you're talking to your person hey look this is not going to happen this is my person and this is how this is going to be if you cannot accept this or act accordingly then 
you know, it, it like, like it's like you, you're slaying down rules. You are setting up boundaries for people to follow. And if they do not follow them, you are cutting them off. Messages of love and life are beautiful Capricorns. Messages of love and life are beautiful Capricorns. And then we have the temperance card. It's like... You're really you, you are you are seeking balance. I feel like in the past with this uh, with this situation that was very toxic for you, it was hard for you to balance the two. It's like if this was um, for some of you for for some of you who who had a situation with the with the marriage or ex marriage or long term relationship. I felt like you didn't have balance in it, and it's like if you were with a new person, you will always find an entanglement with your past. So it was hard for you to separate from them because you were you kept becoming spiritually con connected with them and now I feel like you've you've manifested yourself to be free of this third party situation I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns you you involved a third party situation it was like if you started something new but you kept going back to something that was old so that you were putting your new person in the third party situation because you were because you felt tied to this past and i feel like now in this new beginning in january or it's already taking place but the energy is very heavy in january in 2021 that you are no longer being bound by this energy and it's like with the tempers card it's like you found balance it's change happening you are changing the way that you handle things from your past and, and you're doing it in such a way that it is welcoming in this new energy of abundance, this new energy of love, this new energy of, of actually having a successful long term relationship with this new person that is coming up. And then just to look, we have the world card at the end. This is a new beginning. It's like you're letting go of things in the past that were old and you're being very strategically planning how it's going to go we have the two of swords there's a decision that you're going to have to make i think the decision is going to be on how you're going to be how you're going to clarify this information to the people of your past who were who were toxic who are still trying to uh, pull your heartstrings so it's like they're going to do things to try to see if they still have that energy if you're still holding energy for them and then we have the four swords this is a lot of swords here so we have the king of swords we have the two of swords and we have the eight of swords this is mental clarity it's like where in the past you were confused about certain situations or, or things or how to even get out of a situation with somebody that 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 you had very strong spiritual ties to it's like this decision is hard for you to really actually choose your new person over this person who had you in their in their grasp for so long and it's like you're finally and this is a decision that that was not is not easy for you to make but you're making it because you know the best outcome you know if you continue to do the things in the past you still get the same results it's like insanity thinking you can you can do the same thing but get a different result you're just now realizing okay i'm gonna have to change something to get a new result because doing what i've been doing in the past from cycle to cycle has not changed my circumstances and i feel like this person that's coming in you really see something promising with them you really feel like they could be divinely uh like a gift and also for a lot of you capricorns it could have been uh i feel like you feel like this could be another gift come around because i feel like in the past you could have lost very good potential uh long-term relationships for this toxic person and now that you feel that you have someone else that is worthy it's like i'm not gonna make that same mistake this go around and then we have the four the four source so the four source speaking of okay i'm not even paying attention to this situation so i feel like the people the people in the past that are going to try to come up to see if they could still play puppet master with you you're like you're not even entertaining it you're like i'm not even paying you any attention i'm not giving you no energy because i already know what this is going to lead to for a lot of you Capricorns, I feel like you're finally thinking with your head and not with your head. I don't shoot the messenger. Just if it apply, it apply. If it don't, let it fly. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna clarify the Three of Swords message of love and light. I mean, what is the Three of Swords in reverse? 
spirit. What is the three of swords in reverse? Yeah, destiny rising. You're so it's like you're manifesting. Uh, you you've been healing, and it's like you no longer want to put uh put yourself in a third party situation because you see a better outcome uh with this person. So there's somebody that's in your life that you really feel that okay, I can marry them. I can make this this whole. Or if it's a business, you're like I know I can make this business work. It's promising, and it's like you do not want to be tied down to the past because you see a bigger greater future that's coming ahead of you and it's it's completion it's like you're completing the cycle message of alumni spirit what is the the devil car oh yeah i know what that is but clarify a little bit more for me message of love and life our beautiful capricorn yeah mature woman this could be an ex-wife this could be somebody that um this could be somebody that that had you tied down in the past somebody that wasn't giving to you uh it's it was it's not an equal give and take and because the mature woman came on the devil card this was somebody that was very immature in their ways and, and i feel like they always had their hand out and this was somebody that was always needy every time they call they talk to you it wasn't about how you were doing is everything going well it was about i need i need I need, I need, and uh, you need to give me this or this. This is a really spiteful energy I'm feeling. And um, yeah, okay, let me, I'm gonna get some messages from the Love Oracle deck for our beautiful Capricorns in the month of January, 2021. Messages of love and light. Ooh, we have soulmate, soulmate connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So I feel like right now, the person that, that you're moving towards, the person that you are leaving this toxic energy for Capricorn, this is a soulmate connection. And that's the reason why you are really feeling drawn to this person. You are This person is making you want to cut ties with things of the past that have not served you because this is something, this person is bringing something to this connection that you have not felt in a while or at all for that matter so right now spirit is saying the person that you are moving towards is a spiritual connection and this person is is, is helping you change your past be uh, past behavior pattern then we have palm trees stability security performance growth endurance and flexibility i feel like right now you feel like you could actually build something with this new person that you're that you're leaving your past for it's like because in a past like you the the people that you were with they probably didn't have that 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 energy that zeal to build and it's like a uh, capricorn you are a building a uh, sign you're a sign of stability of of abundance everything dealing in the material realm you want to possess and it's like a powerful energy and it's like now you feel that you found someone that can bring this forward, that can grow with you. And they're flexible with, with how they are. It's like sometimes you can have two different type of people and you have one person that's just stern. Like they're not willing to change. It's like how can we come together if you're not willing to fit where we need to fit? Then we have girl with the snake, empath, narcissist. This I feel like is your past. Whoever your past relationship, your ex-wife, ex-husband, uh, your ex period, whoever's this in the past with this devil energy, they are feeling some type of way. And I feel like they will try to come in. Um, you have to set up real healthy boundaries with them because this, this is the type of person that will do very scandalous things to try to break you off of your, of, of your cycle of getting rid of them. And right now you're cleansing this person, this toxic person out of your, your energy. And they are afraid that they're going to lose whatever financial or energy that you were giving to them in the past. And they're feeling that by any means necessary, this is spiritual, any means necessary, they will try to destroy what is new that's coming into your life if you let them. So don't give a snake room to bite you. Especially if you already got access to cutting off the head. All right, Capricorn. If any of that resonated, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Also, if you want to donate to the channel, all the information will be in the description below. I love you guys. Love yourself. And Happy New Year. <laughs>